The details are disturbing. A man from Jones, Timothy Flint, facing 20 charges of sex crimes against a child, including rape. News 4's Adria Goins is following this story closely for us tonight. Adria. Dylan and Heather, Timothy Flint is still in jail tonight. The district attorney's office filed 20 charges against him Thursday. We do want to warn you, the details are hard to hear. The alleged assaults took place in a home in this quiet Jones area neighborhood. The affidavit claims at least six children were inappropriately touched by Flint over the span of six months from October of last year until June of this year. One of the girls even raped. All of the victims were under the age of 10. The accusations so graphic were blurring the court documents. According to records, some of the girls were assaulted during a sleepover. All of them touched inappropriately and some forced to watch homemade pornography involving Flint. Afterwards, Flint told them not to say anything to their parents. One of the girls finally working up the courage to tell an adult she trusted what happened. Stacy McNeeland is the CEO of the Care Center, a child advocacy center who works with young sexual assault victims through a program called ROAR. But action is very important. It's important that they respond appropriately and number one, no one, nothing is more important than the, your child knowing that you love them, that you believe them. McNeeland says getting these victims the right therapy is the next step to help them through this nightmare. Getting them the recommended counseling treatments, crisis counseling, long-term counseling, and they really should do that for the whole family unit, including themselves. Flint remains in jail. His bond is set at half a million dollars. The district attorney's office telling me, as of right now, they are not looking for any more victims. Well, several protective orders have now been filed against Flint since those charges came down.